Hare Krishna. So today we are asking His Grace, Surananda Prabhu, to tell us the story, how he came to Krishna consciousness. Prabhuji, please follow. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Hindu Prabhu. <laughs> yeah, with, uh, I should start from here. <laughs> Start at the very beginning. What is your first contact with books or with devotees or with prasadam? Or was it yeah. in Bombay or where was it? Yeah, I can uh, actually in uh, when I was studying class seven. Class seven. Yeah, seven standard. Okay. And, uh, in Kaching, Manipur. Yeah, in Kaching, in my hometown. Mm -hmm. I somehow or other I I uh, separated myself from the our main house. Where our father, mother, sisters, brother, they are all living. Can you explain why you did that? Uh, I, I don't know. I, some I tiaga. Yeah. Some yeah. feeling of renunciation. I, I live separately from my main house. There mm. was a little cassette. Uh, Thatched. Uh, hut was there. Right, right, right. And, uh, fourth Seventh class means how old were you? Uh, seventh class means I would be that time maybe 11 or 12. Oh, so young. Yes. Wow. Okay. Seven or twelve. So I, I used to live in that cassette house. Okay. And uh, I was going my schooling, mm -hmm. normal school, and I that time I used to go to music class. Oh. Harmonium and the Hindustani Sangeet Mahadev. Oh, you were learning. Yeah. I wow. Learning. Why were you learning that? I mean, who put you into it? I just naturally. I, I like naturally. Any uh, anyone in your family were musical? No, no, no. no. My, my father did not like actually. Oh, achha. When I came to music. <laughs> oh, okay. So then, uh, so that time, stand seventh standard, I started reading Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita, which is like a translated Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita, the uh -huh. Bhagavad Gita Asain Masak, which was uh, yes. translated as it by is. This Dusri Gopal's father, right. Sutaljit Singh, uh -huh. R.K. Sutaljit Singh. Uh -huh. So that Bhagavad Gita was originally... In how, how was name. that book in your home? Uh, that book was uh, sold by some of the Skon devotees. Mm -hmm. Later on my father told me. Right, right. They and came to Kakching? Yeah, they came to Kakching. And sometime when we were in, during those school days, yes. we see some of the... It's called different. devotees roaming in the Kaksin Bazaar. Okay. <coughs> selling the book. So my father was by one of them. Sorry, I didn't hear. My father purchased. was by one of them. Oh, he was approached by yeah. them. Okay. And uh, he purchased that book and he kept next to his bed. And time bomb. Yeah. He, he never read. He never read. Sometimes, sleeping time, he just opened. We saw that he's doing. Then one day, all of a sudden, I... Let's open it and start reading, and I come to know this is Bhagavad Gita. Oh. So I was reading mainly the you know the introduction. Oh, fantastic! I, I Thirty pages. Now, uh. The word uh, Parameswara Sri Bhagavan Krishna. That's all. And mm -hmm. What I have read that time, mm. I cannot recollect anything. Only mm -hmm. the word Krishna I remember now. Oh, wow! Oh. And I used to read. And uh, when I separated from my main house, living mm -hmm. in the that small hut in front of our house only. Right. Where Within the same compound. Same compound. Mm. So Thatched. There, mm, I used to read and uh, whenever I'm not there, my mother used to come inside the room and uh, to check it, everything is okay, clean oh, and all. Okay. I, I was very clean born. Right. right. From the very beginning. Mm -mm. So then my mother saw this book. <coughs> and she always liked it. Uh, and uh, she also, though she was illiterate, Mm. She could see that, that this is an, uh, some unusual book. Mm. So she came to know, know from my sisters that mm. that is Bhagavad Gita. Ah. Oh, because she saw it in your room yeah. and she wanted to know what is this. Yeah. So then your sisters informed her that this is Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Okay. Bhagavad Gita, like then? So then, then my mother used to cry oh. because I, I was reading Bhagavad, Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> Because uh, in our local area, there's one, one Krishna Mohan, one okay. elderly man. Yes. He was a madman in Kaksin. Madman? Yeah, okay. Uh, people, <coughs> and also my mother also believed that uh, he became mad because he read Bhagavad Gita. Oh dear. So my uh -huh. mother had a, 
assumption that I will also go on because I am using the. Oh, all right. So like that, but what, can, what was the. Maybe you don't remember what you read, but something made you take the book from your father's bedside and you brought it into this yeah. room. And you just started reading. Yeah, reading. You can't remember what you read, right? No, but, I, I remember. But the what was the impact? Did you did you feel like reading more and more every day? You were reading. Yes, yes. Mm. I was reading that only. And what I still know also, if I recollect, I remember this Parameswar Bhagwan Sri Krishna. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Time. But you liked reading, yes. and every day you would read and read. And my father also came to know this is the Gita only. Uh -huh. I thought of reading, but I could never get time. In yeah. sleeping time, he opened for a few minutes. Right. He closed and kept it. And I used to read. Gotcha. Then even my mother, elder sister, came to know that I read Bhagavad Gita. Then he, she spoke in the family. Mm. Then uh, one of her son came to know, and one day he told me that uh -huh. he called me Ingo. Ingo. That means? So I heard that means... Uh, Nephew. Dear... Uh, Brother like that. Oh, dear brother. Oh, so okay. then he told me, I heard that uh, you read Bhagavad Gita. How is that? And well, I do not understand anything, but I tried to explain to him that mm -hmm. he was inspired that uh, I also want to read. Oh, okay. So <laughs> he took the book and he read for some time and it was a little more than... He is your cousin? Yeah, cousin. Brother. What is his good name? His name is uh, Dankeso. 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 Kishore. Yeah. Okay, right. And uh, then I went one time uh, uh, brother that uh, it is quite long. Mm. Uh, please return the book. I need the book. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I cannot live without that book. Wow. So that I read. Then uh, I changed my name that time. Uh -huh. You changed your name. What's I changed up? my name. Okay. My original name was Naurem Susan the Singh. Naurem? Sur Chandra Singh. Sur Chandra Singh. Oh, okay. My has given. Gotcha. So right. That time I changed my name, but not in the school. Just personally. Personally, I mm. said. So that name was uh, Naurim Krishna Murari. <laughs> I changed it to the name. So even my correspondent, I used to buy a lot of books. Uh -huh. Then when I uh, did. Uh, did correspondent like some books coming? Yes. So all this correspondent comes in that name. Now Ram Krishna Murari. And my father was surprised. Surprised. Who is this person? In this and, house. And also it is given care of his name, oh. my father's name. Uh -huh. And he is coming to our home. Who is this person? Then later on, when he asked, he came to know it is my name. <laughs> so I put that name, and up to the graduation. After this is about class seven, eight standard. Mm -hmm. Did he get angry? No, no, no he no, did not get no, angry. Really, okay. And uh, up to the graduation time, my, some of my friends who were from the school, mm. they used to call me by this name. Oza, Oza Murari. Uh -huh. Oza Murari. <laughs> <laughs> we were all friends like that. So uh -huh. that was a little background. Uh, I started reading. Sila Prabhupada Baru Gita. Wow. And uh, about class 9 and 10, I started some martial arts and I have learned a lot of uh, these things also. Martial arts? <laughs> Shall I pause this? Yes, yes, yes. Ojamurari. Ojamurari. Like yeah. teacher. Oh. Then the, uh, after quite a long time I have given up uh, book reading uh -huh. at Bhagavad Gita and all. Mm. And I pass out my 11, 12 standard and mm -hmm. During that time, because of the friends and all, I pick up a lot of bad habits also. Oh, I see. And uh, when... When after 11th and 12th or before? Uh, even uh, 10th standard. Oh, okay. 9th and 11th Oh, okay. So then 11th standard, then when I come to graduation, mm. and I studied in Imphal only. 11th and 12th also I studied in Imphal. Okay, how far is it from Kaching to Imphal? Uh, about 60 kilometers. So were you going up and down? Yeah. Daily? No, 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 no. I stayed in Infal. Hostel? In the hostel and some of our relatives are there. Oh, really. Hostels I, are the yeah. places of corruption. Yeah. And mm. I studied up to my graduation second year up to my one of my, our grandfather in Infal. Then I thought that I would uh, go to hostel on my third last year. Mm. To the hostel so that I can give more time for study studying. Because right. in that house, I used to do a lot of uh, household work. So right, right. All children. 
Yeah, yeah. They were all my uncles and aunties, yeah. but they were quite junior to me. Right. Oh, I see. By, rel- by relation, they were yeah, uncle, but they were younger. Uh, right. So, then I shifted in the third year to the then college uh, old boys hostel. Uh. And uh, in that same year, third year only, mm. one of my friends from Kaksing, he was in the political science, I yeah. was in the philosophy department. I see. And uh, he told uh-huh. that, uh, no, Ozamurari, do you know there is a scone center? And oh. There, every Sunday they have a Sunday program, one can take, go and attend the program, take the Oh. And it's very nice. Who is the person who told you this? Uh, uh, his name is Sanatom Singh. Now he's a big businessman in Kakti. Who, 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 who is he? Uh, what, how come he told you this? No, I mean, we were in the same hostel. He so was in the same hostel friend, with you. Yeah, one of his friends told him about this. If you are staying in Infal, sometimes yes. you can visit Scorn. Okay, so and on Sunday you can get nice prasadam yeah. there. So he told me, then I said, I offer him. Well, he did not know where it is. And but, I knew the yeah. place. How did you know the place? Because I used to go to the airport uh-huh. to drop when I was in my relatives. So you saw the signboard or something? I saw the building and all like that. Uh-huh. And devotees passing up and down. Right, right. So then I said, I, I know the place. And uh, then he said, I said, we go this coming Sunday. Mm. Then I said, okay, fine. We mm. have one, one cycle. So oh. we took the cycle there. Cycle From your hostel to, to the, the hostel temple. To the temple? How many kilometers was that? Uh, that was about uh, maybe... Four kilometers. Four kilometers. Okay. This is four kilometers, from from Game College Hostel to Scone Temple. Five. Yes. Yeah. Three kilometers. Yeah. Three to four like that. Right. So we went there, and uh, it was the temple was in the school building only. Ah yes, yes, on the the ground floor, right? Yeah. Mm. Main entrance gate was just the site where. Sandra Kumar Prabhu used to have an office <coughs> in the city. I see. So there was a kind of the zinc, zinc seats uh-huh. with a gad and all, very, you know, in a very crude form. Crude form, right. So we went inside and mm. we parked our cycle. What time did you go? Uh, that was around, uh, you know, 11, 12 o'clock. Okay. A little more than when we reached there, uh-huh. more than 12. Right. So we parked the temple and there was one bell, was there, a school bell. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And we, both of us, we stood there. And as like within one or two minutes, Sanat Kumar Prabhu, and I came to know later on he Sanat Kumar. Prabhu. Uh-huh. He came out from the temple. Right. So I think Arati was going on, last book Arati. Okay. Then he came out and he called us, Oh, Hare Krishna, where, where you all come from? Uh-huh. Uh, we are going to have Prasanna, please come, come, come. Like Jai Ho. Then uh-huh. we went inside, we were a little bit shy. Yeah. And, all, and we told that we have come from Hostel. Yeah, uh-huh. Right. And okay, now program is finished, so you can take prasadam. Next so you mi- you missed the program. We missed the program. Mm. So then we went inside the prasadam hall. Mm. Prasadam hall was just opposite to uh, this uh, school temple, mm. and there was some toilet was there. Mm-hmm. Just beside the prasadam hall was there. very small. <laughs> small, acha. Okay. So and all this floor was with the you know cow dung mm. smell. Mm. And next partition where devotees were cooking. Mm-hmm. So we had sat down there. Right. And we had prasada. What year was that, Prabhu? Uh, that, that would be uh, 19, uh, 1993. Mm-hmm. 1993. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that was just before Anasana. Acha, okay. Yeah. That means uh, July or yeah. August? After the Prasami, uh-huh. uh, before the uh-huh. so August, September. We had Prasadam, mm-hmm. and during the Prasadam, we do, we do not know why it was, mm. but we too started laughing. Uh-huh. Laughing. Intoxicated. <laughs> we too started laughing, laughing, we do not control. After uh, taking Prasadam? No, during taking Prasadam. During? Yes. And... Uh, those who were sitting next to us, they started looking at us. Don't know, Pagal. We cannot sit longer here because other people will get disturbed. Oh. So we had the prasadam nicely and we came out. You, you mean you finished? Yeah, we finished. You controlled the laughing, yeah. is it? Oh. Somehow we came out, but still. 
लाफिंग मोड हास्य जगदीश चित्र Yes, yes. And we brought some incense sticks and all. Mm. And then we came back. Acha. And all the way we were laughing, 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 laughing. Till no reached, idea why. No idea why. Till we reached the hostel. Your mother will say confirmed, yeah. confirmed mad. Yeah. So then we <laughs> we finished the program and uh, everybody was a little bit uh, curious. Our hostel uh, friends. What was your experience? Where you were? Oh, where did you go? Because they saw you laughing. Yeah. So mm-hmm. and then because they were they were also missing us. Oh, okay. We were we were absent. Right. They right. used to see movies Sunday. This yeah, Sunday. Sunday. Right. They used to see movies. Mm-hmm. And, you know, all these non-bez uh, food. Uh, right. Right. And then uh, we we were very eager to wait for the next Sunday. Mm-hmm. So that that way we continued the uh, uh, Sunday program like that. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Mm-hmm. And that time I was very strongly uh, participating this uh, Catholic Church program. Ah. That time, with the, in our hostel there were a lot of Christian friends were there. Oh, right. We used to go to uh, this Quaker Hotel. It is the one uh, the, uh, Catholic Church is there, kind of a Church is there, and mm. also Sunday program is there. Mm. I used to go there. Oh, okay. So when when this uh, spawn program, I when did when did you go there? Also on Sundays. Yeah, on Sundays. But before going to the spawn temple. Yeah, before. <coughs> After I started going to spawn temple, mm. I start. I mean, I stopped going to the uh, Catholic East church. Catholic church. Mm. And those friends started asking, "Oh, why you are not coming?" Mm. And, all, and they also came to know. I used to go to spawn. Mm. And very soon, within a month, I started saving my hair. Oh. Start saving my hair, uh-huh. and I started putting tilak also. Oh. Uh, even in my college also, I started going like that. So mm-hmm. people, uh, because we were studying philosophy, so normally people say those who are studying philosophy they are always some, you know, crazy, crazy. <laughs> crazy. Uh-huh. So I, I was also quite popular in our college. I see, right. Because I used to go with seven hair, with tilak. Right. Sometimes with sadar, some sal, and all to the mm-hmm. colleagues. Mm-hmm. So slowly, this my friend Sanatomba, mm. all of a sudden, I think maybe f- after five times of going to his own temple, mm-hmm. all of one day he said that my friend, I will not go anymore. Oh. So when I started saving and all like that, oh. he said, and I said, why you don't, don't want to come? Mm. And all, and uh, very soon, uh, soon after that, I stopped eating hostel food. Mm. Because they non-veg. cook um, all men, but this non-veg. Uh-huh. So I ordered some of the things, stop and all from my home. Then uh-huh. every day I started cooking. Cooking. Oh, okay. And I got a you know the single room also, which was never given to any, uh, except like a four or five years staying in the hostel. Oh, only for seniors. Superintendent may give him the single room. Right. But because of my condition, that I am not joining the mess. So hope the hostel superintendent consider my request. special request. Yeah. So I stayed there and wow. cook every day. And my friend also joined, mm. and he told me to uh, friend if I start continue going to Swan Temple, mm. then I may become <laughs> like you. Mm-hmm. And now my mother is alone. My father is with another wife. Oh, and uh, I have two sisters and one more brother. Mm. If I go like you, then who will take care of my mother, and mm-hmm. my brothers, siblings? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then he stopped going. Then, mm. But he told me whenever there is a new book, new tab, mm. or any incense stick, or uh, you please bring sanarmit. We became so attached to sanarmit, mm. and I used to bring one bottle, small bottle sanarmit for him mm. every time I go. Mm-hmm. So this went away. So even though he didn't come, but yeah, still, he didn't come. He, but he was getting the. He was getting. And uh, he always used to take prasadam with me in my room. 
Oh. The, yeah. Then he also gave up eating in the hot mess. Oh. He used to eat with me. Oh, very nice. So mm. then uh, I finished my graduation. I gave my exam. Mm. And uh, after, right after my graduation is finished, so I was every even during the my final graduation, this uh, honors examination, mm. I did not stop going. Mm. So Banmali Prabhuji became very close with me. I see. I became very close, and he also mm. knew that I am from Kaksin, and regularly I am coming right. every Sunday. Right. And he knew when was my exams and all that. Uh-huh. Oh, you are still coming, you have exams and yes, so we are still mm. coming. And when I set up, one Santaras Prabhuji was there. Mm. He asked me, oh, what happened? Any Anyone died in your family? Yeah, right. Because we used Normally, to say, yeah. And I said, no. And why you are saving? Because I like your saving also, I was so <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. So like that, then uh, after the examination, I joined to the temple. Oh, immediately after the exam? Temple. So I actually, see. of course, Banmal Prabhu requested mm. that uh, can you help that we have a printing press. press. Mm. So we, th- that time they were doing all of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, second canto mm. translation was going on, going on. I see. He was about to start printing, go for printing. Mm-hmm. So Banmali Prabhuji asked me, "Can you help in the proofreading?" Uh-huh. And I said, "Okay." Mm. So I helped in proofreading and all. Mm. So I stayed, and then later on, my father also came to know I had gone there. Oh, you didn't inform them? Yeah, I, I informed. Uh-huh. And in between, also they came to know that I uh, I did not join because when I order some money to buy some stop and all kerosene stop mm. to cook for myself. Mm. So they knew. And I brought my one at home small tape recorder. Mm-hmm. I brought it there also and used to play this Zagadit Citrus. Mm. 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 So like they know, and when I joined there, when I told them that one to be requested mm. for proofreading and all. So what was that? Proofreading. Oh, right. For printing. Save up. So I did that one, then uh, my <coughs> father told that uh, very soon your uh, result will come out. Mm. So what is your plan? Mm. So I had earlier planned that I will go to Santi Nikitan and study. Santi Further, Nikitan, philosophy? Yeah. Why oh, you want to do P- PhD? No, No, that was a post-graduation. Post-graduation, oh, okay. All right. So then my result came out, I got uh, second class uh, high honors. First high class, honors. First class I did not get. Uh-huh. Then my father came one day, he told me that your result has come out uh-huh. and you got already honors second class, mm. high class. Mm-hmm. So you must go for study. Mm. So that time I already met Ram Sandra mm. Prabhu. You must know. The Burmese one? The Burmese. Uh-huh. Then he, he was my direct guide. I see. Manwali Prabhu was like uh, <coughs> uh, shopping. <coughs> that time I used to do almost very, very heavy seva I used to do. Uh-huh. Uh, our the general devotee kitchen was cooked by firewood, with the fire firewood. Firewood. Uh-huh. So that uh, tearing cutting. apart the cutting and all that was my seva. Chopping, oh, right. Uh, and cleaning all the before the sanati, this archan plates and all that was my seva. Oh, okay. Prasad distribution my seva, uh-huh. and the proofreading was my seva. Oh. And all the vegetables, rice, mm. dal, the Persez Mataji would do, Tulsi mm. Mataji and Ekhanar uh, mm. Prabhuji's wife. Mm. They used to purchase and they mm. will take me mm. in the market. Mm. And once they finish the purchasing, they will tell us, okay, you take this uh, vegetable carry it back. and carry it back to the temple. Mm. Mm. And like this. And uh, cleaning the campus was my seva. Mm. Before Tulsi Arti, every evening. Cleaning the? Campus. Campus, the should open be, area out. Uh, in front of the school. Right. That right. was my seva only. And uh, my result came out. Then that time Ramchandra Prabhu told me. He also knew that I am going to go to Bishwabhati Sandhi to study my postgraduate. To Shanti Niketan. Yeah. Mm. Then he suggested if you are going there, that is very nice. He said that is Birbhum district, Nagar district, then Nadia district. Very near. Uh-huh. So you can visit my pool and uh, there is one devotee is there. Sukadev Prabhu. Uh-huh. He gave his, his name. I see. So Sukadev Prabhu is there in Navadweep. Mm. So you try to visit him. Oh, okay. So like that. In Navadweep? In Navadweep. Oh, that uh, King's Palace, is yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, right. Newton Rajgali. Uh-huh. 
Uh, yes. So one one day uh, during our post mela, that is in December. What mela? Post post mela. Post mela. Post mela is in December. Is they call post. I see. Post mela something. Manipuri like festival. No 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 no. Santini Ketan festival. Oh, you went to Santini Ketan. Yeah, Santini. I'm talking about Santini Ketan. Oh okay okay. So then I went there. Then one cousin Sauduri was there. He's a Brahmin, mm. and then he was. He had his own residence family inside the Santini campus. campus. It's a very huge. Yeah. Like what Varna yeah. the Dialaya. Yes, yes, mm. very, very huge. Mm. No one use uh, automobiles. All bicycles. Walking. Walking. Sandal. Mm. <laughs> I never knew people wearing shoes and socks like that. Mm. Even in the winter also. Oh. All Hawaii sepal is like that. Very mm. simple. Oh, nice. But very, very great people, artists, philosophers were there. Mm. So that time I I used to worship Sila Prabhupada. Ah. That you worship I was not aware. Uh-huh. But I used to have Prabhupada's biography, the average one. Mm. I worship on my table and every morning I will roam around in the something that our university starts around seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, early morning. Early huh? morning. Mm. And it ends around twelve thirty one o'clock. Mm. And afternoon is completely free. Oh, interesting. So before I go to university, I just run around with my bicycle and collect some flowers and offer to Prabhupada. Oh, okay. And there also I used to cook myself. Oh, okay. I had hired a one rent house, mm. which belonged to a Muslim family. Can you repeat that? Rent house. You rented a room? A room. Oh, okay. And I was not, I did not get the hostel. It was very difficult to get hostel. To over demand? Yeah. Mm. So I stayed there and uh, I stayed in that room uh, renting about maybe about 3,000 I was giving. Every month? Huh? Every month. How long were you in Shantini uh, One One year, more than one year. Okay. And, uh, uh, so I was in university also I was going like that. Mm. Saving, putting till up. Mm. And one uh, Misra, uh, our professor <coughs> was there, he was teaching Indian philosophy, he is from Bihar. Mm. So he was teaching and he also sometimes tells me, oh, that's mm. from Manipur. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> because I used to go with Tilak and, uh, and one hour. Yeah. Uh, but your family. parents and grandparents, they must have all been wearing. Yeah, they all have, but it mm. was unusual for them in the campus. In the yeah, campus. right, right. So one uh, Indian philosophy professor also, he was Bengali. Mm. And he, he did not speak to me, but he used to observe me in the class. Mm. That's because I was typically, you know, saving my hair mm. and always wearing tilak and one shawl. Oh, shawl, like yes. Almost I Vaishnava dress. The dhoti. dhoti. <coughs> again, the next year, I think, during that also during Paul's Mela, this mm-hmm. uh, Krishna Kshetra Prabhu. Krishna Kshetra, okay. Now he's a uh, Sanas. I see. So he is from Belgium and uh, mm. he came to the Santin Ketan. Oh, I see. During that uh, post Mela one month festival in Santin One month of festival? Yeah. Is it organized by the university? By the university. Cultural festival? Yeah, and many people around the India, they used to come. Mm. International festival? Yeah, international festival. Mm. Many foreigners also they come. Mm-hmm. So they had this organization and that cousin Sojuri, he is a member of IYF school. Map. Oh really? So Kajal he used to go oh. and all. Mm. Then he informed them because mm. he knew that they want to come to Santiniketan for the Paul's Mela. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So where they can stay and they will stay for about maybe a few weeks time. Yes. So they were asking to this Kajal Sodhuri. Uh-huh. Kajal Sodhuri informed that there is one uh, student in the uh, campus. Department. Uh-huh. He is from Manipur mm. and he is a Scorn, scorn, like following scorn. Mm-hmm, mm. So they came and contacted me. Okay. And they asked me where are you staying and all like that. And they looked my place and all. So they like it. Then they said, can we stay here? And they said, okay. Then I informed the house owner. How many of them? Uh, so many. Huh? About uh, nine, ten people. All from Belgium? <laughs> no, all from Mayapur. He was from Belgium and one. Morango Prabhu, one Morango Prabhu from Italy, mm. and uh, Krishna Kesha Prabhu from Belgium, mm. and another uh, Belgium devotee. Three were there, oh, I see. and others are all Indian devotees. 
mostly Bengali? Yeah, Bengali from Assam, Sajidullah Prabhu, Tamar Vishnu Maharaj, etc. Mm. And Borho Prabhu, Prabhuji, Tamar Vishnu Maharaj. Mm. And another Tamar Vishnu So how nine Tamar people could fit into your small room? Uh, they, I, I, the time, I don't know, but I remember they were cooking in my room. Uh -huh. I have uh, three rooms. Right. Oh, you had three. Three, three thousand. Oh, right, right, so right. So one kind of uh, sleeping room, one kind of waiting room, mm. one kitchen, and the last is the toilet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in the kitchen only there were all cooking. so many devotees used to come. Oh. I don't remember they were all managing cooking and all like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So after the program was finishing, one day. One month. Almost one month. One month festival. They were with you for one month. Yes. Wow. So then, uh, Goranga Prabhuji one day took me to, and uh, this Krishna Satra Prabhu was staying in the one, uh, mm. <coughs> one Brahmin that, that was our, uh, I forgot his name, mm. he was our logic professor. Logic, okay, Nyaya. Nyaya professor. Mm -hmm. He was uh, quite young, and mm. uh, he, our, this IYF Mayapu devotees, they were looking for one more room where this Krishna Satra Prabhuji, Goranga Prabhu can stay. Uh -huh. So then I talked to, because I used to take tuition from this logic professor. Uh -huh. And I talked to him that we are looking for some room. Uh -huh. So you, sir, can you guide something? They, they, they can stay in our home. He welcome to his yeah, own home. Welcome. And Krishna Satya Prabhu and Goranga Prabhu used to stay in their room. But the other devotees were staying with you? Yeah, stay in the room or some. Some devotees in the stalls, they were staying. In the? In the, in the month of December, in the stall. Stall? Because oh, they had put up a stall for selling, stall. preaching and so selling. The university is providing the, all the stalls to any visiting group. Oh, okay. So they used so they to can... sell books and preach and all like oh, okay, that. Okay, okay, understood. So, after that time, so Goranga Prabhupada took me to Prasad <coughs> Prabhu and he asked me some questions. Mm. Uh, are you planning to continue your uh, philosophy study mm. or you want to join us? <laughs> mm. Then he preached at me, preached a lot, then what is the use of studying this and that, like that. So I was also young, then I also developed so much you know, attachment to this reading of Prabhupada's books. Mm -hmm. I was reading Prabhupada's books only, just the, the biography, the impressment. <coughs> biography. <laughs> 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 I remember I was offering some type of very beautiful flower in Santa mm, mm. and cooking my food and offering. Mm. I, I was not knowing that I should worship Gorni or that, but mm. I was worshiping Slapo. Enjoy. And offering food and all. Mm. And uh, in the Hindi department, mm. in our same post graduation, mm. there was one Muslim friend was there. Oh. Muslim friend. Oh, okay. And he he liked me so much, and we have developed some relationship. Hmm. And one day he visited to me, and he took prasadam also. Acha. Muslim family. Wow. <laughs> uh. Then, uh, whenever I had some problem, you know, he used to come and help me. Oh. I used to go to his hostel, uh, you know, room to help him whenever mm -hmm. he had mm. some problem. Like that. Mm. So that was the thing, and I decided that Prabhu, I will go. So you didn't complete your post graduation. No, I did not complete. I oh. did my uh, this MA one. It's called MA one. Mm. Previous. Mm. So final. I didn't do it. Mm. So then I left, and I brought so many books. I had a cycle in Santi Niketan. Mm. I brought the cycle in the IYF. Mm. They have a tempo traveler. Where was the IYF? IYF is Mayapur. They, all these oh, devotees okay. were from the Iskon Mayapur. I mm. IYF. That must have been under the direction of Bhakti Raghava Maharaj. No, no, no. Oh, okay. He, he, mm -hmm. was, he was from Italy. I see, okay. So then I came and stayed there. And uh, once I came to Mayapur, uh, Goranga Prabhuji uh, engaged me in the book distribution in mm -hmm. Mayapur campus only. Mm -hmm. And I was in the IYF. You'd follow Brahmacharya Ashram, that uh, semi-circle Brahmacharya is there. Mm. He used to stay there. I see. And uh, he gave me cleaning service mm. for, the, you know, for the Ashram. And also mm. cleaning service in the IYF office. Mm. And also cleaning service in the Gosala. Mm. Gosala, he had an office. Mm -hmm. 
So there we used to walk these you know, mm-hmm. walks and all that. Mm-hmm. So I used to walk there. Mm-hmm. So in between, uh, uh, Sukhadev Prabhuji came, he came to know. From Navadweep? Yeah, because some of the... You never went there to see him? I, I went, went before from the Santini Oh, right. It is Kajal Yes, I yes. went and spoke to him. Mm. Because Ramsanda Prabhu told me, mm-hmm. this is the address, you meet him and all that. Yeah, right. So I went in. Then after coming to Mayapur, uh, Sukhadev Prabhu came to know I have come to Mayapur. Mm. Uh, because some of the, our uh, senior philosophy uh, students, students yes. from Manipur, Manita uh-huh. was there. Oh, she, she was doing PhD. Same batch? No, no, she, she was doing PhD, PhD student. Oh, okay. But same time? Yeah, same time. Oh, okay. And uh, that after some time she came to know I left the university. Mm. Then he, he knew because I was putting the and all no like that. <laughs> so she knew that I have gone to Mayapur. Oh. So they have come to Mayapur to search me. Who? Shukadev? No, this Anita. Oh, the devotees from uh, Shanti, Shanti Niketan. Shanti Niketan, who was a PhD student. Yes, right, right, right. He and uh, uh, two more uh, boys and uh, one more girl, four uh-huh. of them, they came to search me. Okay. So first they went to Navadip. Uh-huh. So they, then they went to this uh, Sukadev where Sukadev was staying, you know. Yes, yes. And uh, they told him that the one Sushandra from Aksing Manipur, he mm. was trying, doing uh, philosophy. Mm. Now he left. Uh. We came to know he left for Mayapur. Uh. So we are searching for him. Uh-huh. And that way Sukadev Prabhu came to know. And they came to Mayapur mm. and they met. You mean all of them came together, one yes, group? Yes, they came together. To With Sukadev? No, no, no. No, without they, Shukadev. They went to Navadi first and they... they couldn't him. find, then they came then to we were okay. looking for <coughs> Then they asked around and they found yeah, you. Then they came to Mayapur and mm. we went there. Okay. And they told me, you, you have not finished your studies, mm. you go and study. Mm. And I told them, I will not go back. Mm. <laughs> so that they also could not fall because they were mm. uh, not so close to me, but mm. kind of a friend in the campus. Mm. That way I stayed, then uh, Sukhaja Prabhuji used to come, mm. we used to meet, sometimes we cannot meet. Mm. And uh, 1990, uh, that's, that was, 19, when I joined, I was in Impal, 1993, before Radha Sami. And when I uh, left Santi Nikita and came to Mayapur, mm. that was 1994, December. Oh, end, end December. December, okay, okay. Then 1995, Gopunima, Sipra Maharaj came. To? Mayapur, for ZV Sinipur. Oh, yes, yes. So Maharaj was staying first floor, room number just up, um, uh, next to the staircase. Staircase. Oh. He was staying, then Sukhadev Prabhu was called for. Mm. So at that time, Zai Vijay brothers were there from Agartala. They were Brahmasaris in Mayapur. Agartala, okay. So they informed <coughs> Zai Vijay Prabhu that we are looking for Surananda, called him then. Mm. So I went with the Jai Vijay Prabhu, Maharaj was there. Mm. So Vijay Prabhu introduced me to Maharaj. Achha. And uh, Maharaj talked to me. And, uh, I don't remember what Maharaj was talking to me in that time. Really? Yeah? Okay. And, uh, what I remember is, so uh, Sukhadev Prabhu told uh, Maharaj that uh, he can, he is a philosophy student, he can go to BI Mumbai. Mm-hmm. Oh, he said like that, okay. Yeah. And Maharaj also said, okay, there's a good idea. So, so you. You go, but then there, there was also a little bit conflict, which I realized later on. Yeah, right. Like Tamar Krishna Maharaj's disciple mm. and uh, our Sukhadev Prabhu. Mm. Sukhadev Prabhu wanted me to come out of that. Yes. And Tamar Krishna Maharaj's disciple, me to stay there. Yes. And when Maharaj was there, I stayed for some time. And I talked to Maharaj, I remember that point. Maharaj, I so mm-hmm. what do you want? You tell me anything you want. Mm-hmm. Then I said, Maharaj, I want to go for the new doctor program. Oh, okay. I was already with the IYF, but I was not... That time was very strong, mm-hmm. uh, this new doctor program in Mayapur. I see. Very strong. Right. So I like the way mm-hmm. the training there was. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> then the Maharaj called one day, Goranga Prabhu. Mm-hmm. And he came to IYF and Goranga Prabhu, mm. that this our Manipuri boy, mm. he wants to go for a new Uttar program. Mm. So you please allow him for some time, he can be trained up. Mm. And then Goranga Prabhu said, Maharaj, 
you, you, you know him, or he's a very tall fellow. Now, he left Scone and he joined, he was Buddhism before. Oh, <laughs> but before Scone. Before Scone, he was following Buddhism. Okay, and then. Later on, when we were there, we came to know he left and he again joined the Buddhism. Oh, like that. I see. So he was very tall, also very nice devotee. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brahmachari, all the way mm-hmm. Brahmachari in mm-hmm. that uh, this, uh, mm-hmm. department. Right. And, uh, uh, what is that? What was the point? Uh, then Goranga S- so you completed the new Bhakta program, then you went to Bihar no, Bombay? No, I, I did not. I oh. wanted to join. Yes. Then Goranga Prabhuji said to our Supreme Maharaj, mm. no, Maharaj, this Manipuri boy, he doesn't need training. Oh. He is already trained. Oh. <laughs> I okay. remember he is telling to Maharaj, uh-huh, uh-huh. whatever we tell, he is perfectly his way. So uh-huh. he doesn't need any training. Mm-hmm. Right. So then later on, when uh, one uh, Ekalavya Prabhuji came from France. Mm. Trumpeter? No, no, no. Our Ekalavya Prabhu, our God Prabhu. Oh, that I don't Not know. Not that Lokhanath Maharaj. Is uh, that is one, right? The yeah. trump- trumpet player. Mm-hmm. No, I don't now he has taken sinus. Ah, uh, right. So that Ekalava Prabhuji came to Navadip mm. and uh, Maharaj uh, Subhadeva Prabhuji told you come to Navadip and Ekalava Prabhu will take you to Kolkata mm. temple and he will drop you. Actually Ekalava Prabhuji was Maharaj's flat was that time was there and I do not know. Mm. But Ekalava Prabhu was some kind of walking for Sikha Maharaj in Kolkata. I see. Staying in the Kolkata temple. Mm. So I went there. Is he Manipuri? No, oh, he's from France. Oh, from France, yes. 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 Mm. So Maharaj introduced. Mm. Then he, I stayed one night in the Kolkata temple. And mm. next day he dropped me in our station. Right. And I went to Mumbai. Next day, huh? Right. It wasn't still in December. No, that, that is, no, that is, no, that is December. Uh, 94. 1994. And I stayed the 1995 Gopurima and all the way and that was September. Mm. Up to 1995 September I was there in Mayapur. Right. Then I came to Navadip, Navadip to Kolkata and Kolkata to Mumbai. Mm. And uh, that time Maharaj wrote a letter to Rasnath Prabhu. Mm. That was a yellow page. I think still I have mm. that page. No, no. So Maharaj was writing there Rasnath mm. Das. This mm. is uh, and Sushendra Singh from Manipur. Mm. He's, he studied in Sanchanigatan, uh, he was in Mayapur. Mm. So now I'm sending him, please engage him properly, what service he could do and see. Mm. And he mm. Mm. So with that letter, I went to Mumbai. Mm. And, uh, I jo- joined September 95. 1995, September. So that was a, that I remember the mm. 23rd September. I still remember. <laughs> oh, okay. 1995. If I remember, I came to live in India 23rd of September 1993, I think. Mm. Then I was living in Valsad. So I must have met you then in 1995. Then. Mm. After that. In the, Gurukul, the, in the Gurukul building, right? The red building at the ah, back. Ah, yes, yes. We, we used to live there. So whenever I came, I yeah. used to stay there. And, uh, I, I, I was always with Mahavishnu Goswami Maharaj whenever he came. I was his personal secretary there. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You remember seeing Mahavishnu yes, Maharaj, right? Yes, 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 yes. Did you go to his room he, for darshan sometime? No, I no. remember he mm. was giving some of our uh, yoga retreat program uh, in the school building uh, by Maharaj. He was uh, doing this Satu Sloki Bhagavad Gita, I remember. Aham Prabhasai Prabhu. Aham Sarvasya. Sarvasya Prabhu. Prabhu. Mata Sarvam Prabhu. Maharaj was doing this. Yeah. I remember. And after this session, I even remember going to Dwarika. You came to Dwaraka? Yes, with uh, Maharaj, Amavila Maharaj. Oh, and, and with Maharaj. Ragu Chandra Prabhu and yeah, all the whole train. 70 people. Ah, mostly yes. IIT yes, people. Yes. yes. I, I was there. And Sripad Maharaj. And they were singing all the way, ah, all the way and reading singing. Bhagavatam. Ah, yes. Yeah. I was not there that time. Yeah. But you know, I was. I had been the one to start that ah, yes, center, yes. that temple. Ah, you told me. Mm-hmm. So, so you were with that group huh, who came there. Yeah. Right, right. Mumbai, I stayed there after one or month so. After what? And, uh, September, I did stay in 1995. Yes. yes. And after one month, I felt very, I mean, not able to 
as us in Mumbai. Oh, really? I find very difficult. Oh. Because a lot of people, uh -huh. especially uh -huh. this like hi-fi, you know, mm. restaurant, this, yeah, yeah. cars, people, and women, and mm. all like that. So, I mean, from Mayapur, as you see, that is yeah, very difference. different. Mm. So, I cannot adjust there, and then I was telling to Kapil Prabhu, he mm. was the secretary of BI, yeah. and I expressed to him, probably I want to go here to Mayapur, I cannot stay here, very difficult. Oh. And uh, he informed us, Ras Prabhu, and Ras Ras Prabhu, before one day, Morning before the sun mm. it was Zappa time, mm. and we were chanting in front of the guest house, the small guest house. I see. He was chanting, I was chanting, and he praised me. I am mm. for Madras, mm. and I also felt like I would go to Madras and all, mm. where yeah. I was, I grew up and all. Yes. Then he praised me, and he, he used to praise me, everything. Mm. Then he started engaging me in this, in this room, mm. cleaning. Mm. And making arrangements is prasadam, mm. bringing mahaprasadam. Mm. And of course, after, after one month, Sipad Maharaj came and he stayed about three months. Oh, three months he was in Bombay. Yeah. Okay, right. So that time, Kapil Dev Prabhu asked me to serve Maharaj. Oh, so. So, I was so you didn't leave then? No, no, I didn't leave. The Prabhu pleased me, I didn't mm. leave. Then, uh, 1995 September, then 1996 November, I took initiation. In oh, you Mumbai. came to Vrindavan just yeah. for initiation, but yeah. you were based in Bombay. Bombay. So mm. many devotees came that year during Kartik only. Mm. Prabhupada's disappearance day was my initiation day, in, mm. inside the Prabhupada Samadhi. Mm. Gopal Vishnu Maharaj, and uh, Hanuman Prasik Swami Maharaj, mm. and our Guru Maharaj. Mm. We were three, mm. taking initiation from Guru Maharaj, and Gopal Vishnu Maharaj was the last devotee. Mm. And Hanuman Prasik Swami Maharaj was the Punjabi uh, Raktak, Raktak uh, Das. I remember Raktak Prabhu. Yeah, he was first disciple of uh, Hanuman Prasik Swami Maharaj. Ah, Punjabi. I see. Uh, he's he, was, he, was, he was also uh, uh, Brahmachari. Yeah. Was he the temple commander or something like that? No, mm. he was no. somewhere, I think, but after, I think, during the last corona time, he mm. expired. He left his body. Oh. <laughs> so that was within uh, inside the proper samadhi, mm. and there was no fire sacrifice. Oh, oh. Some uh, Sipar Maras asked Hanuman Prasik Swami Maras to. <coughs> Sipar Maras also spoke, Gopal Vishnu Maras also spoke. Mm. I don't remember what Gopal Vishnu Maras spoke. Mm. Then I remember uh, Sipar Maras was telling to uh, Hanuman Prasik Swami Maras, mm. Maras can you could you explain to the devotees, like our. Uh, those who are <coughs> session about mm. uh, ten offenses. Mm. Then Hanuman Prasad was explaining more all the ten offenses, mm. and he emphasized on the you know, ten ten number of offenses mm -hmm. to be inattentive while chanting the holy name of mm. the Lord. Mm. Mm. And he was even telling that that this offense is a root mother of all the other mother offenses. Of all the offenses. Mm. Yes. Like so I was very much convinced. Mm. I mean that I got offense and all. Right. But, uh, so that day after in the session, Maharaj told, now you go and distribute prasadam. Oh. That time prasadam was in the old courtyard, temple room, temple sidewise. Vrindavan. Vrindavan, it's called oh, Vrindavan. Yeah, there was no right. prisonable around hall and all. Right, right. Mm. So they, we used to always have prasadam inside the temple. Mm. Compound, yes. the sidewise temple room and right. all. Yeah. That was some some Sundar Prabhuji who took Sainas mm. recently. Oh, no. He was the Prasadam in charge, I remember. He used to uh -oh. help come. Mm. Do this, do this. Right. So after Prasadam we had Prasadam. Mm. And very I very clearly I remember that Sri Maharaj took me to Radhapur. Oh, this is the first time in your life to Vrindavan. Yes. Oh, right. And the other two devotees uh, one is Risras Prabhu from IIT Kanpur. Mm. He also stayed in BI. I see. And one Adi Kes, uh, uh, Adi Dev Prabhu. Rishi Raj, is it? Rishi Raj mm. from IIT Kanpur. Mm. Uh, he did his, um, uh, this MA uh, biology. MSc biology. I see. MSc biology. Mm -hmm. And other devotees from the Pune, his name is Adi Dev Das. Mm. So when Maharaj took me to Radhakun, I don't remember these mm. two devotees, what brothers were. They, they, they were brother, brothers? 
Yeah, means now we became... Oh, God brothers, God brothers. So they were not there. Mm. So, but I was there. Maharaj took me to Radha. Oh, very lucky. Yeah. How many people went? Uh, I remember... In one car? Uh, one auto rickshaw. We went by auto, auto Oh, okay. We, we remember sitting in rickshaw, then get mm. the auto rickshaw, mm. and we came to Gopal Mandi. And that time, our Radhika Priya Mataji was there. She was welcoming Maharaj and all the devotees. Oh. She was preparing the sadhana for Maharaj. Oh, at Gopalji Mandi or in Nabadwip? Gopalji Mandi, uh, Gopalji Mandi. Nabadwip or Radhakun? Radhakun. Oh, Radhakun. From okay. Vindavan to Radhakun. Oh, right, right. Mm. So that time Gopal Darshan was not there. Mm. And uh, Sukhdev Prabhuji, uh, I don't remember whether he was in Vindavan or not. Mm. He was there in Radhakun. Oh. From Vindavan, I remember I was there. And one Raghunath. Das Prabhuji from Odisha. Mm. Yes, oh, he's quite a skinny guy. Yeah, black. Mm. Uh, three more devotees, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. So, why I'm telling this? Because uh, that time Mahana started chanting in the temple. Ah. That, in that evening. Uh-huh. So then the Pujari came, Brother Vasi Pujari came, and he was offering something and about to take Darshan. Mm. And just before the Sun was it the, was it uh, Lakshman Brajwasi? Uh, the Pujari? No. no I, I think that, that I think that Nares 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 Govardhan and Nares. I see. So mm. that time I do not know mm. who who was Pujari and all that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. But what I remember is Sukadeva Prabhupada came running and he brought a huge uh, halwa prasadam. Oh. And he was distributing this much this much, halwa ball. Wow. And he said this is uh, given by Mahanadi Swami Maharaj, mm. was offered to Giraj. Mm. That day was, uh, I mean, the Prabhupada disappearance there. Mm. So then... Same day uh, as your initiation. And right. uh, Mahanadi Swami Maharaj used to live on the top, top. floor of mm. our Gopal temple. Mm. So mm. He, he also came there. Mm. And before Darshan, Maharaj used to chant. Mm. He was chanting so nicely that I could not, I mean, also... Uh, you know, stop something. I was mm-hmm. so deep, Maharaj, something was going inside. Mm-hmm. That, that is afternoon, I was. Wow. Then I also started something. I sat down. Maharaj mm-hmm. was Gopal Temple, a small altar. Yes, there, right? yes, correct. Yes, ma- there Maharaj was going and something. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Walking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In that small space. Mm-hmm. He was going up and down, up and down, and something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. So I, I could get that Mahamudra from Siddharth Maharaj, then mm. after some time, also open, mm. then Maharaj was singing. I don't remember what bhajan he was singing, but mm. some bhajan, and later on followed by Hare Krishna Mahamudra. So mm. at that time, Mahamudra Swami Maharaj came, mm. and he was dancing. <laughs> and after the Kirtan, Jai Dindi Maharaj said, Jai Dindi Maharaj said, this our... After the Kirtan, what? Maharaj, our Sipa Maharaj said, Joy Dhani. Oh, Premadhani, Prem yes, yes, yes. Then Maharaj said, our Maharaj Swami was almost flying. He was, Maharaj was commenting. <laughs> Maharaj, praising his dancing. Yeah, he's praising his dancing. <clears throat> and uh, Maharaj Swami Maharaj said, Maharaj, I was dancing sus because you, your singing was, Kirtan was sus. That's why I was inspired to dance. <laughs> <coughs> there was, uh, I, mean, I can say the chapter up to how my session was there. And all. Then we went, went back to Mumbai soon. But well, I am remembering this because I was thinking, nowadays I am thinking about what is Rinam and all like that. So now, I realized that I have received holy name from Superman. <laughs> that, that's how. Because he was starting, and those two devotees were not there. Actually, where they have gone, how where they have gone, I don't know. Who, who are those two devotees? This one from IIT Kanpur and one from Pune. We were all in BI only. We came together. Came together. You came in the same car, in the same auto together. No, they were not there. Oh, they were not there. So only you and Sri Padmara, two people. And uh, this Raghunath Das Prabhuji. He is residing there, right? He was residing in Mumbai. Oh, we, we were all coming from Mumbai on oh, for Indian session. Oh, oh, oh. So while coming to Radhakun, 
Maharaj was there, I was there, I remember this Raghunath Das Prabhu was there, mm. and the two more devotees, I don't remember. But these two professors were not there. No, oh, okay. Yeah. That, that must was, and after that what happened, I don't know whether, I think I should have stayed there in Radhapun before that was already evening. Oh. Then after a uh, few days we went back to Bihar. Oh. And Maharas came there, and when, whenever Maharas uh, uh, came there, mm. I was the only one serving Maharas. Oh. Kapil Dev Prabhuji always assigned me. Oh. Surrender your duties, your service, serving Maharas. Okay. Taking care of his room, his lovely kurta, and I mean his, all this dress. And he stayed three months? Three months, very long time. And that time, some scientists, and very newly I was introduced this a coming scientist coming to BI and uh, sometimes Rasas Prabhu organized that our BI devotees should attend this uh, I remember Professor Boothman, something like that. Mm. I started in, <laughs> attending the class and mm. but nothing was going in my mind, <laughs> all the mm. scientific thing and all. Mm-hmm. So I stayed up to almost a uh, little more than four years. Oh. That means up till? Uh, 1998, I think. Oh, so that was the period when I used to see you, you many times. Yeah, 90, 95 till 98. Mm. I was taking care of Mara's uh, prasadam. Mm. That trip to Dwaraka was probably after your initiation and all yeah, that, Yeah, after right? initiation. Yes. I was initiated at that time. Yeah, yeah. And in Dwaraka... That time, did you all come? Was it a Ratyatra you came for? In Dwaraka? There was no Ratha. It was not, not Ratha, no. 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 We stayed in some guest It was just a Yatra. Yeah, Yatra yeah. only. Besides, there was a, some Osan was there. Mm. And we were put up in the Mukundan Maharaj Prabhuji Aaron's Maharaj's room. Mm. And uh, he told me that uh, Raghunath Prabhuji and Sudananda, you should take care of Maharaj. Mm. Room Maharaj, everything. Mm. Clothes, room, everything. Water, everything. Mm. So we went to the room mm. and Maharaj also came. Maharaj quickly took bath that evening. Mm. And after, once we reached, we reached the temple where uh, this temple was there. It's a 22 hours train ride, right? Uh-huh. Bombay to yes. Dwaraka. Mm. And we all had prasadam. Maharaj also sat along with us. Mm. We took prasadam, then we went to the guest house. Oh. Maharaj got to the rest. And uh, he, he went out. Then he told me, Sramanda, that uh, you would like to come. I'm going to write some poem. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I remember Maharaj telling this oh, thing. Oh, okay. Then, did you go with him? Yeah, I went. We also went to the room and find out what, what other things Maharaj wrote. So, was. what did he write? Um, yeah, he, he, he wrote uh, some poem, I do not know. Oh. Then when I, after uh, this, this um, after many years, after coming back from to Mumbai to Mayapur, then Mayapur to Manipur. Mm. Uh, we had a Village of Peace program. Oh. Azit Prabhuji had called me, that Maharaj is calling me, so I went to Manipur. Mm-hmm. And when I stayed in Manipur, after this Village of Peace program, interviewed Swami Maharaj. Mm-hmm. So Maharaj told me, oh, Suramanda, you got to stay here oh. in Manipur. So I stayed about 11 months. Oh. At that time, Madhul Manoh Prabhu was called by Maharaj from Mumbai. Oh. So, Madam Mahal, you stay with Suramanda and try to develop Namasari Asana and everyone like that. Mm-hmm. So, I used to get sick that time. Mm-hmm. And Maharaj told you, service is just sit inside the temple and sign, just sign Hare Krishna. Mm-hmm. He told this in one meeting. Mahmali Prabhu, Ekana Prabhu, like that. Mm-hmm. So, I used to get sick. I, I do not know how come my health was not that good that mm-hmm. time. I stayed in the Langol temple also. <coughs> time. Mm-hmm. So, Maharaj told and. Uh, Oh, your service would be just stay in the temple and uh, during the temple program, morning, afternoon, just sit inside the temple and sign Hare Krishna. Mm. That is so sad because I was sick. Mm. Mm. So, and when Maharaj goes away, and whenever Maharaj comes, mm. then I used to always give him a poem. Acha. <laughs> in Manipuri? In Manipuri. Oh, how nice. And Maharaj uh, liked it so much. Mm. And, uh, he would go away and then he come back again and he said, you have written any point? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like that. Otherwise I don't go so much. 
That time I did not serve Maharaj. Mm. Mostly Ekanath Prabhu used to serve mm. like that. I, did, I never go to Maharaj. Sometimes mm. within time we used to go. Mm. And just to hand over my poem, I go to Maharaj. Mm. Hand over and come out. I always stay not so close to Maharaj. Always I, I was doing my service, Mamasari. No, Guru Puja, Mangalati, attending Bhagavatam class, Prasad distribution, evening, mm. all these things. <coughs> uh, Ganda, who was there at that time? Drew was also there. Mm. We all came together from Saksa. The village of peace. Yeah, mm. 11, about 11 months. When you were in Dwaraka, and you said Maharaj told you he's going to write a poem and come mm. in, how long did you stay there? Uh, I think just a few, few days. Few days? Few oh. days. I don't remember exactly. It was about 70 people, am, am I right? I remember. Yes, so many yeah. people. Zagat mm. Mohini, mm. Mukundu Madhav Prabhu, Ramgur Prabhu, Jeeva Goswami, mm. I remember. Mm. Amevila Swami Maharaj, mm. and uh, Mahavishnu Swami Maharaj. Mm. Mahavishnu Goswami. Yeah, Mah- Mahavishnu Swami Maharaj. Mm. So, I remember <coughs> that day when we arrived, uh, this Dwarka. Mm. So, Maharaj get down, uh, this uh, Mahavishnu Swami Maharaj also, Amevila Swami Maharaj. Mm, mm. Then uh, Mahavishnu Swami Maharaj already got two of those. Oh, okay. And he said, Maharaj, two hours, Sipa Maharaj, mm. please sit inside the auto mm. and we will go ahead mm. and devotees will come walking, walking slowly. By yeah. And Maharaj said, No, I will also walk. Kirtan. Kirtan. So he did. Okay. You saw the Prabhupada gate? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, huh? So that day Maharaj uh, sent a very nice thing. Please later on came to know Dorita too. Really? Yes. Please sing. That is, and the, in the Dwarka bed also we went for Dalsan. Bed Dwarka. No, but please, please sing that tune. I don't know. Uh, that, that was uh, uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, oh no, no, not that one. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Like, like that was very poor, and devotees were uh, ecstatic. Dancing like anything, and when Maharaj thing with <coughs> the mic, this Adityaya Prabhu was playing with them. Oh. Like when Maharaj was sitting, Maharaj had a hand mic. Oh, I remember. I see. Then Maharaj was not satisfied. Oh. Adityaya and uh, you are not playing Mridanga properly. Oh. So Maharaj took the Mridanga and Maharaj then said play. Wow, Hari <laughs> That was the first time I saw Maharaj playing oh. uh, Mridanga. Wow. And everybody, this our Zagan Mohini Mataji was crying, I remember. She was crying. And beside our uh, troop, this Kritan troop, Beside that, two, three cows were uh, running up and down like everything. Oh. <laughs> they were. Everybody Ex- became very ecstatic. Ecstatic. Yeah. Yes, I right, so I, I think uh, we will end here for today, maybe, because I have to go to school. Yes, okay, Prabhupada. Thank you very much. I, mean, I could not express so nicely <laughs> my <laughs> English is no. not good. <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you, Prabhu. Thanks, Prabhu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.